do a start, select settings, select system, then select Intermix settings, this option here. <coughs> it comes up with a main menu. Click on communications, radio, 802 to radio, funk security, and then you can select an active profile. You have four profiles you can set up. I just have this one set for one. I'm just going to show you where all the settings are. Right now I have a different SSID that I, than the wireless that I have here, so it's not connecting. You can tell by the little icon up here on the top. I think you can see that with the video. And uh, I'll go ahead and change the SSID so it should connect because the web key is the same. But in this page, this is where you put in your key, your transmit key and your web key. The encryption I have is web. If you have something different, these are the options where you can set up your uh, WPA or WPA2 if you're using that. <clears throat> well, like I say, I have WEP, and I'm going to change the SSID. I change the SSID, I hit enter, I say save it. <clears throat> it says entry saved, and now I have a connection. You can see the two arrows going left and right. That means that this device is connected to my wireless here in the house. If I go back to um, uh, communications, uh, radio again, and IP settings, you see that I have a static IP set in here. You can set it for DHCP just by checking that box. I usually have it set for static IP for our demos and stuff when we go out and show the system on demos. But this is where you would put that information in if you wanted to put in static IPs into all the units. That's again under um, communications, 802.11 radio, and then there's IP settings and the funk security. Funk security was where we had the profile and the SSID and the web keys. Right there. Go back to the main menu. That's about it for uh, setting up uh, this unit for those two items.